Number two, Bravo Uniform Echo. Ron in New Jersey. Over. Hello, Ron. How's it going, sir? Hello, Ron. How's it going, sir? I'm doing good, Jim. Doing good. Just want to check in with you today. I checked in a couple of weeks ago on this FT950, and uh, I think I got it somewhat adjusted. Hopefully, you got a better copy on me. I'm, uh, I have the amp on. Uh, let's see, about 500 watts, Jim. Over. Yes, sir. Now, uh, Ron, do you know what the EQ for that radio is? Do you know what the EQ for that radio is? Yes, I do. I, I looked in the, the manual, and uh, it's quite extensive. So, yes, I do, Jim. Over. Alrighty, let's go to that EQ page and uh, tell me what the uh, settings are. Is that a, uh, do you know what kind of e equalization that is? Is it an 8 band, 3 band, 2 band, or what? 8 band, 3 band, 2 band, or what? Uh, I'll tell you, it's, uh, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, feels like a 4, 4 band. Uh, well, interesting. Uh, does it, uh, well, let's just say that uh, the mid, the two mids uh, should be flat. Uh, the two mids, uh, mid frequency adjustments should be flat. Roger? Frequency adjustments should be flat. Roger? Okay, so you're saying the center frequency should be flat? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let me see where I have that set on. Oh, I gotta go to it. Let me see. All right, it is. Uh, let's see. The center frequency. Okay, it should be uh, off. Would be flat. Then that's what it comes. The default setting is off. Would that be flat? If it's off, it would be flat. Yes, sir. And and the one below it there, I'm not talking about the very lowest one, but the one just below the the one that is flat. Uh, we want to flatten that one also. So we have an active uh, EQ on the bottom, and we have an active EQ on the top, and the two in the middle are uh, are off or flat. Uh, are off or flat. So okay, Jim. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, I'll put that one. I'm stretching. So that should be flat there also. Over. Okay, so uh, and then we want to go on the top EQ. Uh, and uh, what is uh, that uh, currently reading as far as uh, cutter boost? Currently reading as far as uh, cutter boost. Okay, let's see. I, I have it set at. I have to adjust my bifocals. Uh, the setting is from 700 to 1500, and I have it set at 1100. And that is the very top one. You don't have one above that. It's the very top one. You don't have one above that. Yes, that's the very top one. None, none above it. All right, so actually your frequency range should be a little higher than that. You're saying that the top uh, uh, frequency range of that top one is uh, 1 1.5 K, K or somewhere near? 1.5 K, K or somewhere near? Yeah, 700 hertz to 1500 hertz, Jim. Uh, all right, can you adjust that? Can you adjust that up to uh, uh, 2.5 K? Uh, uh, 2.5 K? Okay, wait a minute. Here's uh, the center frequency high range with the microphone equalizer with the speech processor on. Goes from 1500 to 3200. Yeah, okay, so that one, uh, we want to boost that by three clicks from where it is. Uh, we want to boost that one by three clicks from where it is. Additional, Roger? Clicks from where it is. Additional, Roger? Okay, Jim. Okay, here we go. I just uh, kicked it up three. All right, uh, and uh, then uh, tell me in 10 seconds or so about your antenna system. 10 seconds or so about your antenna system. Yeah, okay, Jim. I'm using a 33-foot uh, vertical today. Uh, just a piece of wire going up, the, up on the side of a MFJ push-up pole with 10 radials off the bottom of it. 
and I have a, uh, a DX engineer and uh, current bound on the bottom. That's where the feed point. It's one of their vertical uh, current bounds for uh, the feed of last years ago. <laughs> so that's at the bottom. So 33 foot vertical ground mounted with 10 uh, radial dips. Alrighty, I've got you on my uh, local antenna, so we need uh, a little bit more top end. So I would uh, sh uh, do an additional two clicks boost on that top uh, EQ, Roger. Yeah, okay, Jim, uh, hold on here as I reach over. Okay, and there's that. That's, uh, that's as far as she'll go, Jim, over. Yes, sir. And uh, on the uh, the base one, uh, we want to reduce that by two clicks. Two clicks roll on the base EQ. Okay. Okay. Two clicks low on the base EQ. I'm going there. Uh, okay. Let's see. Oh, that should do it there. I, that's, uh, I got that set. All right, now I want you to go back to your ALC and double check your ALC level is uh, mid scale to two thirds and have uh, and adjust that by way of your mic gain control. Yeah, okay, Jim. Uh, let's see, you know, I kind of, my voice goes up and down. But uh, yeah, that's two thirds. Uh, just then it was farther two thirds when I got louder. But that, uh, that's two thirds there, Jim. Now I have the processor on, and that's set at 30, and now I got the EQ on. So I can shut uh, yeah, the processor off and the EQ off. But that ALC is uh, up about two-thirds now, Jim, over. Yes, sir. Excellent, excellent. Just leave everything like it is now. And uh, why don't you give me about 10 seconds uh, and potato pay particular attention to being on mic, okay? Uh, so uh, you're on mic like normal, uh, and try to stay on mic as much as you can, and give me 10 seconds and tell me the, the best thing you like about your radio. Okay, Jim. Yeah, I'll try to stay constant on the mic. I tend to go in and out quite a bit. Um, the mic, by the way, the microphone's a Heil 781. And like I said, your rig's a Yezu FT950. I guess uh, about 15 years old. Had this radio uh, about 15 years now. Nice radio. Got a nice display on it. And it seems like it has quite a few features. Not enough for me. Probably more than enough. Receiver seems to be okay with the darn thing also. So I keep it in the shack and he every now and again fire it up and uh, I enjoy using it where I do. It's uh, been a pretty darn good radio, Jim. Over. Roger, Roger, uh, uh, Ron. Uh, your bottom is really uh, pretty full, but I would I would uh, roll just uh, maybe uh, two clicks more off the bottom end, just to be sure we don't uh, get muddy. So minus two two more uh, clicks uh, base roll, Roger. Okay, Jim, uh, let me see here. Uh, okay, there we go. Two more off. How's that, Jim? Over. Okay, uh, and tell me something I don't know for 10 seconds, and be sure you stay on mic, right? Oh, okay, Jim, yeah. Well, we had a snowstorm the other day. What the heck, we had like 10 inches of snow. Well, we had a snowstorm the other day. What the heck, we had like 10 inches of snow on Saturday. That's eight. Less than cold for two or three days, and then uh, kind of warmed up, rained overnight, and you can't. We're back to bed. I'm not complaining about it all, Jim. Over. Roger, Roger, Ron. I think we got it, sir. Sounds good. Uh, if you would like to hear your audio, uh, like I said, I've been on my local antenna listening to your bottom end. Uh, my uh, local receiver is good to 100 cycles. My monitor system is good for um, 50 cycles. So uh, I really can tell a lot uh, with my local receiver. Uh, and now I'm back, back on Milford, which I have a, technically a better a better uh, system as far as receiving, but uh, unfortunately, the Milford, uh, as many uh, 
SDR receivers rolls off at about 250 cycles, so it's hard to set the base in with those. That's why I was on my local antenna. Anyway, if you want to hear your audio, you know, go to YouTube, do a call letter search, KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, and uh, that will take you to uh, this recording. We'll post it uh, by uh, noon tomorrow. Roger? We'll post it uh, by uh, noon tomorrow. Roger? Yeah, okay, Jim. Very good. Well, thank you. I'm glad uh, I'll be able to listen to the 950. And I'll be interested in to hear that. So, by the way, your signal report, your 10 over S9, the plus 10, and your audio is at 5. 5 by 9 plus 10, Jim. Always a nice signal out this way. Take care, 73, and uh, I'll talk to you again, that's for sure. KC9, VKV. And to be you, good night. Roger, Roger, as always, Ron. Thanks for dropping by, sir. Have a great afternoon and a beautiful weekend. And we are approaching 5 o'clock, where we turn into a uh, pumpkin, I think it is. So we got to move along here. Uh, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.